A uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses a part of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is in the great search this week? Okay, so this week, um, oh, let's go to the computer. I am redesigning uh, some some boards that, that were affected by the part shortage, and then now they're fine. But during the part shortage, I had a little bit of like a you know, I was like, oh, if I'm going to clean the kitchen, I'm going to also clean the living room type thing and decided I wanted to redesign this board from being a fully through hole kit, because when I first made this board, I didn't have a pick in place to now be um, a surface mount kit. Uh, so it's out of stock now, but uh, basically it's a little shield that goes on top of your Arduino compatible and lets you connect uh, five buttons like yeah, up, down, left, right and select with a 16 by two RGB LCD using only two pins. So it's just like very, it doesn't interfere. You can stack on top of other shields, you can have motors, you can have, you know, Wi-Fi or whatever, and, um, uh, you know, or other sensors and also display some text out. You know, we sell full color TFTs, but sometimes you just really want to have a little bit of text. And also these are like nice and readable. Um, especially if you want to have the backlight be like an indicator, you know, it's like, oh, something went wrong, turn it red, or something's going okay, keep it yellow or green. Um, so I like these, um, like this design. So um, the good news is that the, the resistors are easy. You know, I just used 0603 or 0805 resistors. Um, the MCP 23017, you can just use QFN or SSOP, TSOP. Um, the pot, it just use a pot. But then the buttons, I here's the thing about the buttons. So I actually don't usually use buttons like this. I usually use buttons. Um let me show you the buttons I usually use. I usually use tactile switches that look like this. And they're very thin and they're flat. They don't stick up a lot. And I was tempted to use um these buttons, but then I was like, oh, you know, if someone first off, I like the sticky uppiness of of these tactile switches that were used in this kit they lift up and they have like a nice big bump um and they have like a good tactile response and also i wanted to make it as mechanically equivalent like moving from through hole to smt i didn't want to change the design i just wanted to change how it was manufactured instead of being soldered at home by people it would now come uh pre-soldered so um these are common you know, they're jelly beans. I call them the six millimeter tactile switches. Again, mostly they come through hole, but you can get them in surface mount. So let's go to DigiKey and find the equivalent of those six millimeter tactile switches, um, but in surface mount, but the same height. I want them like mechanically the same, but just it's picking place. Um, so you can start by searching for tactile switch. And they've got all sorts of kits where you get a whole bunch, but what I want are the individual ones. So I'm going to select tactile switches. And there's a lot. You know, you can see that we're we're in the right place because it's like, oh, yeah, that's the thing I want to replace. And this is not what I want, but it's like, I get it. You know, this is the surface mount little flat switch, um, which I'm not going to use. So let's um, search. Let's start filtering it out. So we want active. And we want surface mount, not right angle, like top down only. And I'm going to also select the dash, although I don't know, it's just a habit of mine. I, sometimes it doesn't actually help, but it's, I feel like it's useful. Um, not illuminated, so I'm going to not uh, select the illuminated type. And then I'm going to say in stock only. Part shortage is well over. Basically, if it's made, it's available, it's going to be in stock. Although I hope nobody's watching this from the future and then there's another part shortage. Um, it was terrible. I hope that never happens again. Okay. So now we're up to only SMT. So this actually looks pretty promising. That looks close, but it's way too tall. That's the thing. So let's go to the overhead and let's see what height we want. So the switch has a height and there's also like, you know, there's the body height and there's the actuator height. So this is not how you normally would use the um, uh, caliper. You'd use depth mode, but it's kind of hard to show that. So like this. And the height, it's about five-ish millimeters. Um, so to make sure that we don't select... Oh, can you go back to the computer? 
to make sure that we don't get like these tall boys or these short boys i don't know i don't know if they're gendered um we're going to select height off the pcb and we're going to make sure that it's at least four millimeters and less than six it's like 46 millimeters which i think will narrow it down but you know give us some more options okay these are looking good okay so the next thing is we want to get rid of these uh skinny fellows here we want only the square body ones um if we go over to the right we'll see that this is determined by the outline we want the outline to be and this is actually a little tricky see if, see these two if you look here you're like oh that looks like the switch these are actually different body sizes this is four and a half millimeters and this is six so this is like a little petite this one is also petite it looks right the image looks correct but the scale is off um so the 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 size of the switch that we want is six ish by six ish millimeters i'll say it's not exactly six and sometimes it's off by a little bit so we're going to be a little flexible we'll select everything that's like not this one because that's three and a half but like 6.2 6.3 maybe up to 6.5 millimeters by six so like that whole that whole cluster and that gives us you know we're down to now 300 options okay next up um this is really close but it's too short like the act the body's the right size and it's the right you know shape but the height of the actuator is too short like you see how these are they're very um flat against the um the body and if we look at the switches i use you see that they have a little bit more height so these are actually five millimeters tall i guess i think we, we measured them and the ones that these ones if you look over to the right they are let's see uh height the actuator height is 4.3 so 4.3 is too short we want like this which is an actual five millimeters look exactly so let's let's filter out the 4.3 let's go for 4.5 or or higher okay much better yeah so these are all looking much better so now you know basically you can pick there's a couple that are not quite the right style but you know they just happen to match it's kind of a cool switch but isn't what i'm looking for this isn't you know this is too flat i don't know that the body height as opposed to the actuator height yeah it's not indicated so you know you just have to look at the photos um okay so next up, I was like, okay, we don't know the thing you want to make sure is um, let's sort by price. Let's see what we got because we're making a low cost kit. Um, we want to get rid of like this looks good. Like these are too short. I actually don't even know how these made it in because these are definitely not five millimeter tall. This is okay. Well, it seems a little short. It looks like maybe it's four point. No, it says five. It could be that the image isn't quite right. But these come in bag and i don't want bag i want them to be in tape and reel because i want to pick and place it so i want to filter out the uh wow what's this oh i think i think there's a way that was like you could filter only though that's a new thing i'm discovering new things at digikey Let, let's apply this filter maybe it'll this is a new thing Ooh, it's a new thing this is live we're discovering new technology okay so I just filtered um, for only tape and reel. Oh, and then I can remove it. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so the top ones, and what's interesting is, you know, pre part shortage also always used to say like, look at that quantity available. That'll give you a really good hint. Like if it's a high quantity available, it's usually like popular. You know, it's like when you go, it's like when you go to like the, um, the food truck and you're like, wow, there's like 20 people in line at the Washington Square Park food truck. What's up with that? It's like, it's probably pretty good because otherwise there wouldn't be a gigantic line. So if you, um, sort by quantity available, these two are both the least expensive and also, um, the highest quantity, like 150,000. So, um, both are good. 
you know, they look basically the same. So, you know, I like C and K. They have a little bit more in stock. Um, both, I think, have, like, pretty much the same life, temperature, grading. Um, but I think we covered CTS. So you can use either, but I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one, the C and K PTS 64 in stock. Lots in stock. About 15 cents a piece. This is my pick for the great search. And that's the great search. Where you